in this lecture we will learn about integration by parts okay so it's very very powerful tool integration by parts and what it tells that if you have in the integ integral product of two functions then with this rule you can very easily integrate them okay so here we have u is some function of x okay so u is a function of x and v is also a function of x okay so we will represent it by uv so if integral is of the form uv dx then we can write it of the form u integral v dx first term minus integral of du by dx into integral v dx dx okay so this is the formula which you have to remember and then you can apply it very easily to solve a lot of problems which otherwise will look very difficult okay so here we will see we will solve problems of the form integral log x integral x cos x integral e to the power of x sin x integral under root x square plus a square dx okay so we will see these problems so first problem we see is integral log x so now you can say that okay you were talking about we have two functions product u and v but here there is only one function but we can always say that okay if u is log x then v is 1 because 1 is also present here okay so we can write it as log x into 1 so now you have to choose which one is log x should it be u and v is equal to 1 or should it be u is equal to 1 v is equal to log of x okay so first we will choose so here you should think that okay the formula is in the formula we are integrating v okay two times we are integrating v and we are differentiating u once okay so you should choose u and v such that u is easy to differentiate and v is easy to integrate okay so log x here we are trying to integrate it so hence we will never choose it as v so we choose it as u okay and v is equal to 1 it's easier to integrate so what happens now applying the formula so this is u integral v dx so this is first term is u integral v dx which is log of x integral 1 dx which is x log of x and then another one is what minus integral du by dx integral v dx and whole thing as integrate integral so du by dx is 1 by x integral v dx for 1 is x these gets cancelled and dx so it is x so this becomes x log x minus x and plus a constant so this is very easy to solve using integ in integration by parts okay next we will solve another question that is integral x cos x so you can again here verify you cannot apply partial fraction here you cannot do substitution here because there is no function whose derivative is also present here that will help in integration and then so we will use but because there are two functions in product so we will use integration by parts okay so first option is again so we said that okay we will choose u whose derivative is easy to find so u is equal to cos x its derivative is easy to find v is equal to x its derivative is also easy to find and its integral also is easy to find okay so integral x cos x is becomes u this is u integral v dx so x dx so this becomes cos x into x squared by 2 minus and integ du by dx is minus sin x and integral v dx is x square by 2 so we say see that this is the integral but it's becoming more complicated initially we had cos x into x now we are having sin x into 
x square by 2 which is in fact more difficult to solve as it's higher power of x so we should backtrack and see that okay u should we choose it as x and v is equal to cos of x if we choose that so it's u integral v dx so x sin x minus du by dx so it becomes 1 integral cos x dx so it's minus cos x if you integrate so you will get sin x so now it becomes x sin x and if you integrate sin x you will get minus cos x so this is the answer and it's much more simpler now okay so we will try to have one final go at one problem which is e to the power of x sin x dx again here you have u what should be u e to the power of x or sin x sin x we can differentiate v is equal to e to the power of x so if you integrate e to the power of x you will get the same thing so let's take this one as our so now integral becomes u u is here sin of so let's first calculate du by dx so that is cos of x dv by dx no so it's v dx integral is e to the power of x so u integral v dx is e to the power of x minus integral du by dx which is cos of x integral v dx is e to the power of x dx okay so now also we see this problem is now also of the same variety so let's make this one i1 is equal to cos of x e to the power of x again if i choose u is equal to cos of x and v is equal to e to the power of x we get i1 is equal to u integral v dx minus integral of du by dx which is sine of x so this is minus so this becomes plus integral v dx is e to the power of x dx but we see this is again our same form this is i so now we have i is equal to sine x e to the power of x and minus this i1 so i1 is minus cos of x e to the power of x minus i okay so this is basically 2i is sine of x e to the power of x minus cos of x e to the power of x hence i is half e to the power of x sine of x minus e half e to the power of x cos of x plus so we see here it how beautifully it came out to be i in terms of i again and we could write this equation 2i is this and solve it okay so we now understood what is integration by parts so i hope you understand this so just use this formula wherever you see that integrant is of two products so thanks a lot